One of the things I like most about miniature wargaming is the stories that we create through gameplay. Whether it's defending the remote outpost, defeating the forces of the enemy, or overcoming the odds, the stories we help create through gameplay give us investment in the worlds that never were or those that never will be. Of course, sometimes the developers want to share their stories with us. And the most common way they'll do that is by producing fiction. This fiction can take many different forms. Sometimes it's novels or short story anthologies. Other times it's comics or graphic novels. And whether standalone books or included within the produced rule books, they help us learn more about the universe in which our game is set. So today on Gaming with ADHD, I want to take a look at Infinity Betrayal a graphic novel from Corvus Belli set in the Infinity Universe. Infinity Betrayal is the second graphic novel that they have produced and is a standalone story. You can read either Betrayal or Outrage, which was the first Infinity novel, graphic novel, in any order, and it won't affect the other story. I'm also going to look at the model that they included with the collector's edition of the graphic novel and also the character's pack for the, the story that was available separately. So, this is what we've got. We've got the book, the box of miniatures, and we've got a single standalone miniature. So, I'm going to set the miniatures off to the side and start by showing you the book. So, this was released in 2020. Uh, the limited edition uh, version, which came with the miniature, is... Retails for $29.99. The art was done by Victor Santos and the writing by uh, Augustin Graham Nakamura. It's 128 pages and they say it's a European graphic novel format. So I have here an American graphic novel and as you can see it's a little bit, the, the American no graphic novel is a little bit narrower than, uh, than Infinity Betrayal. And uh, so, for the record, Watchmen. Pretty good, by the way. But we're not here to talk about that. Uh, and the collector's edition came with the Kodali Parachutist miniature, which we'll look at in more detail here in a few minutes. So, the art is done in a manga style. Okay, uh, It's all black and white. Lots of uh, lots of action shots. The art's actually done very very well, uh, and you know it's not surprising that they cho chose to uh, to draw it similar to a manga, just because of the fact that they the game touts its anime stylings. Now I had a few issues with uh, with how some of the shading was done, and I should have probably picked this out earlier. Uh, definitely not a good look on video, I admit. So, w the main issue that I had with the shading was that, so here's a good example. So, this armor here in the background, the shading is either cross hatches or different differently spaced pixels and so it ends up destroying a lot of the detail in the picture as you can see the eyes and face over here on this statue are very blurry the different segments on the armor plates are are kind of hard to make out uh, I realize that that may be just the the manga printing style, but I think if you're doing just a graphic novel that is a one-off and not a manga that's being produced weekly, I think they could have done a better print job on the shading. So, uh, as far as the story itself, it's, it's okay. Uh, I understand what they were trying to do with it, the point of the story, but there's the dialogue can be very abrupt uh as you can see like on this page there's just a couple of 
word bubbles. Um, there are many times where, you know, again, throughout an entire page, we've got four panels here and we get four word bubbles. They had a lot more room. Uh, they had plenty of space where they could add, they could add more word bubbles, like just right here. Uh, Kodali is sitting in a room and we get lots of, you know, lots of the room presented to us, which it's a square empty room. They could have filled in a lot more dialogue and, and just develop the story better. Uh, you know, they they do a lot of facial expression, which, which is good. It helps to convey the emotion and, uh, and the, the way that the, the characters are feeling, but they could have still given us the, the additional text. Uh, I read, I've read it a couple of times now, but I wanted to reread it before doing this video and I got through it in about 20 minutes. And again, that's for 100, 130 pages of a graphic novel. So it, it'll go very, very quickly. So, uh, I did think that the main, uh, we'll call it good guy, uh, Adil Memut. Uh, I really like the background that they chose for him. Uh, because of some of the sensitivities on YouTube, I'm actually not going to mention that. But when you read it, it is very interesting considering some of the things that are happening in the world today. So, uh, you know, I thought that was really good. The print quality is actually very nice as well. Uh, it's got a nice matte finish, uh, very good bindings. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a great production value. So, with that said, do I think it was worth it? Well, honestly, I mixed. You get uh, you get an exclusive figure with it, which. Uh, does require some assembly, oh, yeah, which is not surprising. These are infinity miniatures. They are, they are dynamically posed, but um, but that does mean that you're going to have to assemble the miniatures. But you get her jump pack, pistols, and the figure itself, plus a base to put it on, so that you can actually use it in your game of infinity, and. If you look, I mean, they get they get some fantastic details. Uh, obviously, with the metal, you're not going to be able to see them that well. But I mean, Corvus Belly makes great miniatures. I like the different segments on the armor. Um, I like the I actually like the design of the jump pack. Sort of gives it an angel wing. Kind of look to it, uh, even though she is technically part of the combined army. So, uh, you know, there's that. And then the base does actually have the new infinity styling with the markings for the front arc on it. So that's pretty good. But even with the the great figure, um, I do think that this particular package was a bit underwhelming for $30 you know assume say it's a $15 uh it would be a $15 cost maybe even $20 for uh for the printing um which I would actually put it closer to $15 for something comparable um and then the figure you know you're now talking about a single 28 millimeter figure for fifteen dollars as well, so I, with everything combined, again, like I said, where I think the story could have been developed more. Um, you know, I, I can't say that I'm one hundred percent happy with, you know, the fact that it costs thirty dollars. Now, with that being said. You know, I want to see more Infinity stories. I think Corvus Belli has designed a fantastic universe. And in the end, this is a business decision. If if we're 
if the, we as the fans aren't going to support the company, then you know they're not going to be producing that product line. Now, that doesn't mean we should just you know accept whatever they give us. Um, we can obviously bring up criticisms, bring up things that we think need to be better or think that, that they need to change. Uh, because if they don't get that feedback, they're not going to make it better. You know, they should be able to hear that, yes, the fans want more of this style product, but get better, make better stories, get some better art, do some better printing. So, you know, overall, I'm willing to give them, you know, a little bit of leeway. This is only their second graphic novel after all, but hopefully they put some more work into it and also hopefully not as much time between Betrayal and the next book. Uh, as there was between Outrage and Betrayal. So, that is the book itself. Let's set that to the side and look at the character pack. So, the characters pack comes with four figures. You get another Kodali. You get Norkius, Chief Jiang, and then Adel Memut. Uh, so Chief Jiang and Adel Memet are Yu Ching characters, and uh, Norkius and Kodali are for the combined army. They are, as always, with Infinity figures. Here you get a little brown box, and you're going to get highly detailed metal models um, so this is Norkius who basically comes fully assembled except for a couple of pieces but you know it's a it's a great model I'm I, I usually have, I, I have very few complaints about any of the models that I've gotten from Corvus Belly. Uh, I, I like the designs. I like the actual quality of the sculpts. So one thing I do want to point out, um, and I'm actually going to switch my camera, because um, I actually want to use their pictures to kind of review some issues that I have with this set all right so right here these are all currently available figures for Kodali this one in the middle is the one from the betrayal graphic novel the one on my my right which I guess would actually be yeah the right hand side of the screen that's what it'll look like uh, that's from the Betrayal Characters box. And then the figure on the left is from the Combined Army Booster Pack Beta for Code 1. Now, the problem that I have here is with this figure from the Characters Pack, they basically gave us the same figure a second time. There are many well actually there's not a ton of different characters within betrayal but they there are different characters that they could have given us uh i'm not going to uh, i don't want to spoil the story but at the very end the uh we'll call it the bad guy uh from the very end i think i think it would have been been neat to see that character added uh, or a high value target, uh, the like the base commander, or uh, one of the other uh, combined army figures. Uh, I think they could have done uh, a different model. That if you were going to be picking up betrayal, well, you're already going to get Kodali, and if you're going to get the betrayal characters pack, you know why are you getting another Kodali? Now, I don't have as big an issue with the Booster Pack Kodali, mostly because of the fact that it's a very different looking figure. She doesn't have the wings. She doesn't have 
uh, the same the same style of armor. And so I think it very much sets her apart and could easily be distinguished from a different version of the character. Uh, or even just a different character completely if you want to substitute it in. But I think it could have... Uh, I think they could have done better there. Uh, one example that I will use is that of uh, Adil Mehmet. So this is the Adil Mehmet that you get from the characters pack. And this is the Adil Mehmet that you get from Dire Foes Alpha for Code 1. So as you can see, they're... they're there's the same character, you can see that in the face, but you get a very dynamic, very different pose. He's got the, the cape here, whereas he's got the furs here for being on Kaldstrom. So, uh, yeah, overall, don't get me wrong, I do like the, uh, I do like all of the characters that they, that they provide us. I think they're fantastic looking models, but I would have much preferred to see them replace Kodali with someone else. Uh, in Outrage, they put uh, the Sniper in with the Collector's Edition. And then in the box of characters, you actually got six different characters. And the price is actually about the same. With that being said, you know, it's, they are we are going to discontinue it at the end of July. But as you can see, 48 euros for Outrage and 49.95 for Betrayal. And you get two less figures in the Betrayal set. Now, I understand inflation. I'm just saying, you know, they could have, again, they could have included an HVT. They could have included uh, a different character. Um, but again, they're still really good models. So overall, while I really like the models in the set, based on the price alone, I'm not sure that the value is really there for the set. Uh, I do really like the, the, however, that you can use these models to develop more of the story on your own. You can recreate the story from Betrayal. You can uh, and add to it. You could do the sequel for it. You know, you've still got uh, Adil Mehmet and you've got Kodali. You know the two the two main characters from the story. You know you could have them meet uh, at, at a later point and play it out on the table. So overall, I gotta say I'm not 100% happy with these sets, I, or be it the book or the miniatures. Um, but you can make you can make your decision. You know some people, uh, you know. Obviously, everybody has you know their their interpretation of value, and this is just mine. But if you disagree with me, I'd love to hear it. Put it down in the comments. Let me know. Um, let me know where you think I'm wrong. Uh, I'm I'm happy to engage. I'm happy to talk with you about it. Um, but at the end of the day, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I definitely want to get more Infinity content out. But I have lots of different games that I like to talk about. So I'll keep mixing it up. You guys let me know what you'd like to see, and we'll go from there. But overall, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.